can't just throw me away like this. Look, what do you want me to say? I'm through, okay? I'm done. Just like that. Hey, you got the e-ticket ride, pal. Now it's over. What? Did you really think you were my special one? That I'd want to marry you or something? I loved you. Yeah, well, you're a few million dollars and a few inches short. You know what I mean? You little whore. <laughs> Hell, my 16-year-old paper boy is a better lay than you. And he doesn't keep yapping afterwards. So why don't you drop dead, huh? Oh, but do it somewhere else. Like I said, I'm through. What? Are you gonna cry now? God. Joey, you are so darn cute. Look, uh, Hallie, I got business to attend to. Joey, don't toy with me. You know I need an answer. Well, don't stare at me that way. I, I'm, I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just a minute. A boyfriend or a husband that you know of? Tanya? Can fish swim? Meaning? Meaning she had a lot of boyfriends. And a husband. I guess she was a busy woman, huh? Look, as long as the girls show up for work on time, are sober, and give the crowd a good show, I don't ask any questions. I see. Look, I've already told you everything I know, all right? Why don't you go talk to Cindy Dan? They shared a dressing room. Maybe she knows something. Cindy, she's uh, well-built, brown hair. I don't see her out there, though. All right, um, she shows up. Give me a call, okay? So, nobody heard anything? Nobody saw anything, and the victim didn't have an enemy in the world? You've been a real big help, ladies. Really, you have. Uh, you ready? Yes, I Excuse am. Excuse us. Excuse me. Oh. So, you, uh, you get anything? No, no, I went deaf, dumb, and blind on me. Yeah, me too. You know, I had no idea mud wrestling's work so late. Late? It's early. The sun's about to come up. They say cops only glamorous lives. <laughs> Excuse me! 
The only thing Taylor found was one puncture wound under the ribs to the heart. I mean, very precise and very final. Yeah, you know, the victim had track marks between her fingers and toe. Taylor, have any idea what she was using? No, she, she's not going to see anything until she gets in the lab. Well, we got nothing to go on but an address. Yeah, I got one husband, assorted boyfriends, and no names. What do you think, place of residency first? Sure. Sounds Hello. good. Excuse me, help. Stop, police! Who are you? I'm Joey Melman. I'm the guy who talked to the killer. So you have a description of the killer? Well, yeah, but it's not exactly a visual kind of thing. Well, exactly what kind of thing are we talking about here? Well, I, I heard his voice. I, I heard his voice. It, it was, it was so cold and chilling. It, it was like. It, it, it stuck in my head. I know exactly what he said. He, he, his exact words were, just a minute. No, no, it's the, it, if you wait one minute, no, wait, uh, if you give me a minute, I'll, look, if I heard him again, I'd know it. I'd know it in a sec. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, wait, wait, here, here's my card. Uh, thank you, Mr. Millman. So we can uh, call you at any of these numbers, right? Well, uh, no, because uh, they, they changed the area code there, so I had to cross it out, and I pencil the number in. But, um, well, I'm in the book. I'm Joey Melman of Melman Management, personal management to the stars. I see. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll, we'll be in touch with you. Ah, so you'll call me. Right. Looks like we have a visitor, huh? Quick, don't move. Hey, hey, take it easy. I just came by to get some of my stuff. What are you, a friend of Tanya's? I shared a dressing room with Tanya. She poured a bunch of my makeup. You Cindy Dan? Yeah, look, the door was open when I got here. You didn't waste much time getting over here to go through her stuff, did you? The place was already trashed. When I heard what happened to her, I just came down here to get some of my stuff before it disappeared, you know? Right. Nothing safe these days, is that it? You said it. Ah! You scared me! Melman! What's this Melman business? Call me Joey. Joey, what the hell are you doing here? What? You mean... I wasn't supposed to... No, no, you weren't. We are trying to conduct an investigation. Sit down. You want me to sit? Sit down! I'll sit. I'll sit, and, and you won't even notice me. You just go right ahead. You won't notice I'm here. Thank you. I'm not in a room. I don't exist. I'm going to sit here. You won't even know I'm in the room. So, Cindy, this whole pile of stuff here, this, uh, this is all yours. That's right, Sherlock. Funny. It's inscribed with Tanya's name. Well, then I guess I wouldn't have taken it now, would I? Hmm. Why don't you, Joey? Sit. I'm going to sit. I'll sit right here. But if you need me, just call. Listen, are we through here? I told you the door was open. Besides, if you want to find the guy who killed Tanya, you don't have to look very far. Meaning what? Are you kidding? Her husband, Paul Yeager, the guy beat her. She kicked him out of here months ago after they had a big fight. He threatened to kill her, and I, I guess the jerk kept his word. Doc? Hi. Look, I'm sorry to interrupt, but everybody says you're the best. What do you think? I just had them done, and the left one... Does it seem a little wall-eyed to you? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look. Take your top off. Here? We're in the middle of a gym. That's right. This is in my office. If you want me to see you, you make an appointment like everybody else, OK? Fine. Hey, why don't you beat it, huh? You're not even a cop. 
Hey, you think they give those to just anybody, pal? It's a police auxiliary card. Even my mother's got one of these, pal. Oh, yeah? Well, all the more reason you should cooperate. Excuse us. Joey, what are you doing here? Huh? I just figured if I grill well, the husband... You know, you just figured wrong. Look, I want you to sit over here and be quiet. Can you do that? Oh, I got it. Come on, sit. Oh, okay. I'll sit here like backup. Yeah, kind of. Excuse me, you Paul Yeager? Sergeant Lorenzo, this is my partner, Sergeant Lance. We'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Can we go somewhere? Yeah, you can. Me? I'm on the clock. Okay. Fine, we'll do it here. Your wife's friend, Cindy Dan, said that you and Tanya used to fight all the time and that you threatened her. Would you like to explain that? Oh, she said that, did she? Look, that lion cow is no friend of Tanya's. Now, Tanya and I, we broke up months ago. So we have nothing left to fight about. Maybe Tanya had a new boyfriend you were jealous. A boyfriend? A boyfriend. She had tons of them. That was her gig. And she met most of them here. You know, you don't seem too upset about your wife's death, Mr. Yeager. Oh, are you kidding? I'm devastated. So why don't you two beat it so I can grieve in peace, okay? I spent all last night at a client's house. Hey! Don't even think of trying to weasel your way out of this one, Mr. Big Man! There'll be no weaseling here, pal! No weaseling! I'm gonna get to the truth or my name's not Joey Melman! Let's go, Joey. <laughs> one more set. <laughs> the captain never hears about any of this nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> Joey, come on. Now, enough is enough, all right? Now, you heard the husband's voice. So what's the verdict? Is it yes or no? Come on, Joey. You heard his voice. Now, is it yes or no? Him? The husband? Right. Yeah. Definitely. He's definitely the killer. Well, good. That was easy. Or not. It's hard to say. Hey, look. Maybe if I could hear his exact words, like, um, through a door, maybe. Glad you could make it, stud. Why don't we just make this quick? I'm a very busy man. Tanya told me all about your little arrangement. Still think you're too busy to talk to me, Doc? Tanya and I were dating, so what? That's right, Doc. I wonder if the police know that you were dating. What do you want? I'm not greedy. Just take your net worth, divide it by half, and I'll be in touch. Still working on your kitchen. Yeah, you know, I have waited oh. for a month for this tile to come in. Right now, uh -huh. the tile guy disappears on me. I mean, he hasn't returned my calls in a week. I just. I don't understand. I mean, I thought people were hurting for work. Come on, Rita. That's why you pay a contractor 15%. Oh, why? So he can disappear on me, too? I mean, why should I pay an extra 15% for that? No, I am fully capable of hiring workmen myself. Uh -huh. I just can't get them to show up for work. You're missing a big piece of the picture here. Really? Mm -hmm. What's that? Well, the fear factor. So come on, you pose no threat, so why show up for work? What? No, it's true. Look, when you deal with construction, you deal with the most primitive aspects in human development. Okay. Look, come on, think about this. Animals in the wild, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They instinctively know who the dominant male is in the herd. Now, it's fear that keeps all the other males in line. Are you suggesting that they're not responding to me because I'm a woman? Maybe, maybe not. What I'm saying is, you're too nice. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. Hear me out. This tile guy, he has to absolutely live in fear of pleasing you, right? Otherwise, he takes on new clients, he shoves you to the back of the line. I am not too nice. Right. I'll bet, um, I'll bet you leave him a full pot of coffee in the morning, don't you? Well, so what's wrong with leaving him coffee? See? Look at you. You, you. you can't help it. You suffer from terminal niceness. I can be tough when I need to be tough. Bet you leave him donuts too, don't you? 
don't you? <laughs> no, no. You wait just a second, all right? You do. You do. You leave them coffee and donuts. Yeah. <laughs> I did. At this rate, your kitchen will be done by, well, I don't know, like four or five years. I don't want to discuss this anymore, okay? Okay. Okay. about. You nearly hurt Denise. She's a big girl. She can take care of herself. Besides, the crowd, they loved it. The crowd? They would cheer at the lions eating the Christians. It doesn't mean we're going to give it to them. You know, I don't know what your problem is. I was just trying to make it more interesting. What is wrong with you? Look, what we do here is entertainment. It is only a show. Oh, that's right, Ellie. I forgot. You think that this is show business, right? Yeah, I do. And if you have a problem with that, maybe you should think about getting into another line of work. You know something? I don't need this loser job anymore. <laughs> I quit. It's gotta be it's just a shirt. Yeah, no, thank you. Hey, Robert. Hey, Sam. Hey. Did you get that autopsy report yet? Yes, I did. Tanya. Ah. It was full of morphine. Huh. Not your average street drug, is it? No, high grade stuff too, and lots of it. So you uh you find anything in her files? Our girl made a business out of Bilk and her boyfriend. She was even incorporated. She was a blackmailer? You no, know, it's more gifts and trips and lump sums. I mean, she get a new car here, a diamond necklace there. She got the list of every name and every date, right down to the retail value of every gift. Well, maybe she was thinking of starting her own catalog. Apparently. I mean, she had the merchandise for it, just it was really weird. Her record stopped about five months ago. No records. Well, that explains why her place was trashed. I mean, maybe somebody just cleaned house. Yeah. So we're just left with the husband who seems to have an alibi. So why don't we just go down there and rattle his cage? Joey, what, what are you doing here? I'm here because I care. I care about law and order. A lot of people talk about law and order, but boy, when it comes time to do something, then no one around, then they don't care. Lorenzo, Lance, my office now. Stay. Stay. <sighs> I just got a call from Jaeger's lawyer. He's threatening to sue the department for harassment. He says you two caused a scene at his place of employment. Well, it, it didn't happen exactly like that. That's right, Cap. I mean, it wasn't us. It was. Oh, come on. You're not going to blame it on that witness again, are you? Who's running this investigation? You or him? We are, Captain. It's our investigation, our screw up, and it's not going to happen again. I hope not. Now, what's the status with the case? Well, as you can tell, we have an irate husband. And uh, we're still working on his alibi. And an unreliable voice witness. OK. That is enough. I don't want to hear any more. I am going home now. Franny is away visiting her mother for a few days. And I plan to use this time as a chance for quiet meditation and reflection. And maybe a chance to work on your baseball card collection? Exactly. And when I get back, I expect all these problems to have gone away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, Sid, Sid, listen to me. This guy is the funniest comic in Miami. He works all in nursing homes. Last place he played at, he killed. He literally killed. No, I mean literally. Cardiac arrest. I know, it was very sad. I, well, we'll send flowers. 
And did you ever see his Mr. Pacemaker thing? That was really funny. Now that you should watch, because if you know, if you just, you're through already? Look at the time. I, I just, well, was that an expensive thing? Because I, I could, I could take, I could send you like another phone. It's a phone that's shaped like a football. But... So where are we going, guys? Are we ready to roll? No, no, we are not going anywhere, Joey. Come on, I took the whole afternoon off to help you guys. Joey. Look, uh, we want you to go home, okay? We thank you, the Palm Beach Police Department thanks you, but we no longer need your assistance. That's right, Joey, thank you, and goodbye. But I can identify the killer! No, Joey, you can't. Joey, you are useless as a voice witness, okay? Useless. Plus, you've caused us nothing but trouble, Joey. You got involved in our investigation. Well, don't get us wrong. I mean, we think you're a really nice guy, but... Yeah, I'm a nice guy in a useless kind of way. No. No, I understand. I got ears, I got eyes, I see the looks. It just, I don't know, I, I, I thought we were a team. Hey, look, look, li listen to us here. I, I'm busy, I've got clients, I've got bookings. I, I got a lot to do, I can't waste time here. Hey, take it easy, I'll, I'll see you later. See ya. I got a parcel. I think it was a Ford. Joe, are you okay? I'm not sure, but I think I wet myself. Okay, Mr. Mantle. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, Kev, look, I'm sorry to bother you, but I thought you should know we couldn't find that truck involved in the attempted hit and run. Uh, no witnesses, partial plates, and um, the L points came up empty. Uh-huh. No truck, so that means just keep looking. Which means that we have a problem with our witness, Joey Melman. Problem, as in? As in whoever killed Tanya Yeager is probably the same person that tried to run him over. So uh, we think that, well, he needs police protection. Protection? Protection. In my house? Yes. Never. No way. Come on, cat. Look, I, if I thought I had a choice, I wouldn't ask. But Reed and I have got a lot of leads to look up. We can't just dump him off anywhere, and we can't put him in the slammer, although that would be a nice thing. So. No. No. Joey? No. This is Captain no. Lipschitz. Captain Lipschitz, this is Joey. Can I have a glass of ginger ale? I'm feeling kind of sick. Look out. Lorenzo! Lorenzo, you. you. Why? I'm out of this dump and onto better things. Well, don't go too far. We're not through with you yet. I'm all yours. Fire away. What kind of car do you drive? A van, an old VW. Why? When you broke into Tanya's house. I told you, the door was open. We know you lied about being Tanya's friend. So the question is, were you just there to rob her? Or maybe Tanya was running a number on you. Maybe you had a real good reason to want her dead. Oh, please. Maybe I went over there to pick through some stuff, which I'm not saying I did, understand? But even if I was, what's it going to matter now to old Tanya now, anyway? So you were stealing. Are you going to uh, arrest me, officer? It's a thought. <sighs> Tanya, she, uh, she had a lot of boyfriends, right? Any of them got a reason to want her dead? Well, like you said, Tanya and I weren't exactly very close. So, I guess you're gonna have to figure this one out yourself. What do you think of a reason? You'd be a real smart girl to give us a call. And if I don't?
can I still call? No. No, maybe Cindy was right. Maybe it was her husband. Yeah, well, since his alibi still hasn't called us back, I think we should go find out why. Yeah, the cops were just here, all curious about the man and poor Tanya's life. I think they would be very interested in knowing about the drugs you were giving Tanya. Why, yes, I think we should. Fine. Oh, and uh, bring cash, because I won't take a check. It's me, Joey, Captain Lipschitz. Come on, open up. It's perfectly safe out here. I checked. There's nobody out here. Are you sure? Did you look all the way around? Yes, I'm sure. Now, will you open the damn door? OK, all right. Relax. What was that noise? The sprinklers. See, I told you I heard something. Nice, quiet evening at home alone. <laughs> Was that too much to ask for? Look, I just want to tell you I, I appreciate everything you've been doing for me. I mean, putting me up here and cooking me dinner. It was a good dinner, too. I like corn. It was really good corn, except I hate the way corn gets stuck in your teeth like that. It's like... What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Ah. My Willie Mays. You're picking your teeth with my Willie. I am? The card. Just put it down. Put the card down. Look, uh, one more thing. Do you think you have any, like, dental floss or a toothpick or something? Because I think I have some cardboard stuck in my gums. Mrs. Valerie Lehman? Yes. I'm Sergeant Lance. This is Sergeant Lorenzo. Ma'am? So we tried to call you, ma'am, but we could couldn't. We do this another time. Call and schedule an appointment, OK? We did call several times, but nobody responded. Mrs. Lehman, do you know a man named Paul Yeager? He works at List Spa Class Inc. as a trainer. You're a client of his, right? Well, we've had a session or two. Why? Mr. Yeager claims the two of you were working out at your house two nights ago. Is that true? Who is it, Valerie? Nobody, dear. I'll be right there. Look, that's preposterous. Mr. Yeager's a trainer you meet at the gym. I, I would never invite him into my home. Why would he say that? It's a good question. It's a very good question, ma'am. Can we have a word with you, Mr. Yeager? Come on, this better be good. We're about to arrest you for your wife's murder. Is that good enough? What? Uh, give me a couple of minutes, okay? We talked to Valerie Lehman. She said she wasn't with you the night time you got murdered. As a matter of fact, she said you've never even been over to her house. Come on, man, she's lying. Look, look, the woman is married, okay? Now, to certain clients, I provide a full service workout, if you know what I mean. She lied. Yeah, well, we also checked with the Department of Motor Vehicles. Do you drive a truck, Mr. Yeager? A red Ford truck? It's licensed TRI 370? I did? It was stolen from work yesterday. Why? It's funny. You, you didn't report that. I just found out. I mean, come on. I, I left work with a client last night, and I spent the night with her. Anybody could have stolen the keys from the valet, so what? So, you're under arrest. Put your hands on top of your head. Lorenzo, Lance, in my office now. Yeah, Captain. All right, about that witness of yours, uh, Mr. Melman. Yeah, you won't have to I worry about... I owe you two a big apology. Come again? All those things you said he did. He did them. He did all of them. That he didn't do more is a miracle. I'm telling you, last... You know, he broke our sink. You... <laughs> he... Solid steel, and he broke it. How does a person do that? Captain, where, where is Joey now? 
I sent him to the cafeteria. Please. Please tell me you've made progress with this case. I can't spend another minute with that person. You'll never have to see him again. Uh -huh. Paul Yeager, the husband, alibi totally fell through. Yeah, we just picked him up. There is a God. Yes, there Joey, is. Joey. Hey, just the man that we wanted to see. I am? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, you know, uh, good news. Uh, you're safe, and I think we can take you home now. You can? Yes. Yeah, yeah. as, as a matter yeah. of fact, uh, we'll give you a ride. I mean, I mean, if, you, if you're busy or anything, you don't have to. No, we want to. You really to. don't have to. We want to. Can we stop price for you? Yeah, let's, let's, uh... Wow. What a great view. And you risked all this for Tanya? As if that girl could ever love anything that didn't come out of a needle or have dollar signs pasted on it. But I guess you know that now, huh, Doc? Just shut up. Oh. I'm sorry. I forgot that's right. With you, it was true love. $60,000. 60? <laughs> wow, how generous. It's a one-time payment. If you ever demand more, you ever bother me again, I'll kill you. Now, is there anything about that that you don't understand? Why, I believe that you would. Except, you see, I have this little tape. Actually, it's just a copy. It's got you begging her to come back and then and then just threatening to kill her. You know, you really shouldn't leave messages like that on people's answering machines. I knew that you were supplying her with morphine, but when I realized that you actually that you actually killed her. Well, let's just say this little tape here. It's going to be my my pension. You greedy little whore. Insurance doc. We all know about insurance, right? Look, I don't have the kind of money to... All right, suppose I make it an even $100,000. How's that? You bad, bad boy. You were holding out on me, Doc. <laughs> what you... Oh, man, th that's great. It takes us back to square one. Thanks, Cap. What do you got, Sam? Well, we got no visible wounds and no sign of a struggle. Did Ellie know anything? No, she said Cindy quit the other night after they had a fight. She uh, found her body out in the parking lot this morning. Great. You wanna know what the kicker is? I just talked to Lipschitz. Valerie Lehman changed her story. Gave Jaeger the alibi he needed. You're kidding. No. It seems that Mr. Lehman was out of town. She and Jaeger got together, and they were pumping iron over at her place. Oh, no. Joey. We told him he was safe. No, no, I admit it was unprofessional of him to have a heart attack while he was on stage. But what do you expect? They were heckling him. Don't you? Hey, I'm working business here. I... Oh, no. Hello, Joey boy. Look, Ellie, I, I was meaning to call you. I was just gonna... Let's, um, you and I go and have a little chat, Joey boy. Yeah, well, if you find him, bring him in, please. Hey, Sam. Hey. I just got off the phone. They can't find Joey anywhere. Great. You got anything from Taylor? Well, yeah, it's still pretty preliminary, but it looks like Cindy died from a single shot of high-grade morphine. Just like Tanya, huh? Yeah, well, except for she's not a junkie. They couldn't find any other needle marks except for the one that killed her. But guess what they did find? Hmm. Chloroform in her blood gases. So the killer knocked her out. And he shot up with morphine. So who has access to high-grade morphine? Uh, uh, doctors, nurses, paramedics. Yeah, well, whoever it was knew both the girls, and I'm assuming they knew Tanya even better. We should go talk to Jaeger again. Why? Because from the number of track marks on Tanya, I'd say she was using long before she was divorced. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be too happy to see us. Don't be silly. He'll be thrilled. Thrilled? 
Look, why don't you two take a hike, okay? Look, Mr. Yeager, we have reason to believe whoever was selling Tanya drugs also killed her and Cindy Dan. We just need your help to ID the supplier. <laughs> no, I got a better idea. Why don't I just paint a target on my back, huh? Look, this guy is two for two, and you two jokers sure can't do anything to stop him. So what are you saying? You're not going to help us? You got it, sweetheart. Now, why don't you two go harass some other taxpayer, huh? I'm working here. No, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go talk to the owners of this place. We'll see if they can ID your ex-wife's drug connection. That's right. Then we'll talk to all your clients, the rich, respectable ladies around here. And we'll talk to their husbands. Ma'am, do you have a husband? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah? OK. Look, Tanya got her drugs from her boyfriend, a doctor. Yeah, we already know that. We need a name. This guy was a plastic surgeon. He'd fallen hard. He gave her a set of implants, and then after the surgery, she had some kind of pain or something, so we gave her morphine. And then she wanted more, and he came across, and let's started a beautiful relationship. Look, what was the name? Waverly. Dr. Scott Waverly. Wonder if it's too late to get a warrant. you an offer four weeks ago. I expected a reply. Oh, Ellie, this is an important decision. Could you back off? I'm having trouble breathing. No! You got my hopes up. You made me think that we had a future together. Then, when I pop the question, you run and hide like a sniveling little boy? Look, Ellie, I meant a business relationship. Don't you lie to me, you little rodent! You had a better offer, haven't you? No, El Ellie, Ellie, please. I, I, I would never look at another offer while yours is still on the table. There is no other offer. You see, what with the murder case and these two detectives, they want me to do all their undercover work for them. So I've been kind of swamped. Joey, I just, I don't know how much longer I can wait. I mean, doing this job, being alone, it's killing me. Look, I tell you what, I'm even willing to change the billing. Melman and Otis presents. How's that sound? You would give me top billing? Oh, Joey. You can be on top as much as you like. Ellie, please. I'm having trouble breathing again. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's a neat office. One of his files are as tiny. Huh, I guess we'll see, huh? Shut on that side, I'll get this one. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you promised Joey Boy. It's as good as a written contract. Good. Now go get your girl. She's up next. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> Shirley! Shirley, you ready? Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. That's the killer. That's him! Those large morphine prescriptions would have triggered an investigation eventually. But this guy, Waverly, is out of control. That yeah, makes sense. Waverly belongs to the Spa Classic Health Club. So he must have been there the first time we were questioning Jaeger. And he overheard Joey talking about the fact that he could ID the killer's voice. So then he stole Jaeger's keys to his truck and he tried to run over Joey. Yeah. Lorenzo. Chris, it's him! It's the killer! It's, it's the same voice, the words, everything! Slow down. Where are you, Joey? You at the club? I, do you mind? I... Joey? Joey? <laughs> Should have let me run you over, you little freak. Look, you can still run me over. How about next Thursday? You want to make an appointment? 
Joey, where is your girl? She's late. What's going on? Back off. The little weasel dies. <laughs> okay, okay, mister. Just take it easy, all right? Please don't, don't hurt Joey, all right? Please. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through, don't mind us! Drop it, police. Come on, give it up, Waverly. You better do what she says. I mean, she has a gun. You just shut up. This to me. You, uh, put your cuff on. Sure. You're at the regiment sign. Anything you say, can oh. will be used against you in a court of law. Oh. I am Star Bean. Is Italian okay with you? Yes. Oh, there you are. Actually, I just lost my appetite. Joey, hi. Actually, we were just, uh... On our way out? Yeah. It was good to see you, though. You know, it's always... Wait a second. You two saved my life, and I'm determined to make it up to you with this. It's a contract. It's the contract to our whole story. It's got everything. It's got murder. It's got jealousy. It's got sex and mud. Lots of mud. You can make millions off a story with sex and mud. You mean a movie? A movie, a book, a video game. How about your faces on those plastic cups? Sorry, Joey. Wait a minute. How about your own clothing? Your own line of Rita wear? Well, you know what, Joey? It's against department rules. What are you talking to me about rules for? Every studio is interested. Sorry, Joey. We'll see you. Bye. Well, I don't know how I'm going to say no to Mel and Julia. You, uh, you mean Mel Gibson? Well, Mel's a big boy. If I tell him no, he'll just have to take no. When, um, when you said Julia, were you... Oh, I'm sorry. You must be so sick and tired of hearing that you look exactly like Julia Roberts. Well, I... <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think it could hurt to just listen. No, I don't see how it could. Thank <laughs> you. 